Okay, tonight, In the Kitchen with Jelly007.com, we're going to do a family favorite, and I mean, it's, it's quick, it's easy, and it's delicious. These are beef short ribs. They are excellent by themselves out of the Instant Pot. And, and the Instant Pot does them as good as anything I've ever cooked them in. But what I'm going to do special is I'm going to cook these beef ribs in the Instant Pot with two cups of liquid. I'm going to add two cups of liquid. Now, I usually use beef broth, but tonight I picked up bone broth. So I'm going to put a cup of bone broth and a cup of water. I'm going to put that in here. I'm going to cook those. And when those are done, uh, I'm going to pull those out. And at that point, I'll, pull the, I'll set these aside, remove the bone or whatever, just set them aside. I'll, I'll pour off the liquid that's, that's, that's from these ribs and that bone broth in the water. And it's a, a broth that is excellent, I'll guarantee you. I'm going to pour it in here uh, just to measure it. And then I'm going to add water to make that four cups of water. And that's, that's tricky. I mean, that's why I do it. You got to, rice means a lot. You got to, uh, have the right amount of water. Too little water, obviously, or too much water means a lot. Well, that four cups with these two cups of basmati rice. I got two cups of basmati rice. So what I'll do then with these out, I'll put the rice in and the four cups of liquid, broth, beef broth, the all of it. It's going to go right in here. Then I'll cook the rice. And then when it's done, I'll put these ribs on top of that rice and it's 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 always gone. I mean, it's it. The family loves it. It's a it's a really. I'm gonna tell you something. These are probably some of the best beef tasting uh, cuts off the cow. If you ask me, they have a fantastic flavor. If you've never done them, if you haven't, instead of if you want, you ought to just try them by themselves. They're great. But you do it with this rice, they're off the chain. Anyhow, I'm gonna get that started. I'll bring you back and show you a little more to it, but not a lot. We're gonna make it short and sweet. But I'll be right back. Okay, as a like a total disclosure here, this bone broth is a little different than, like I said, I usually use beef broth. And with it chilled, it's almost a gelatin. I mean, it had a gelatin effect, or it really does. It, it's, I put it in here so it's loosened up a little bit, but I'm honestly afraid I'm on, with, uh, if I use that as a liquid, it might not work as well, although it probably would. But instead, I'm going to add a cup and a half of liquid to the top of that and make it two and a half cups of liquid that I'm going to pour on top of these beef ribs that I already have in here. I'll put the lid on, seal it, 35 minutes under pressure. I'm gonna do say five minutes of natural release and then uh, manual release. And then I'll bring you back as I open it for the first time and show you what it looks like. And again, I mean, these, these, they're really fantastic. These fall off the bone consistency. It's, it, it, won't, it may not be, fell off the bone, but it's that consistency and they have a fantastic flavor. So to cut to the chase, I'll be right back. Okay, so 35 minutes and uh, roughly five minutes of natural release. I'm gonna do the uh, manual release and then when I come back, I'm gonna open that lid and show you what they look like. Be right back. Okay, so about eight minutes to bleed down or whatever. And the pins dropped, as you can see. And there they are. I'm gonna try and keep from steaming the camera up, but I hope you can see that. They look like they always do, they're great. And uh, we're gonna pull those out. As you can see, I've got uh, a, uh, a trivet in there to keep those from uh, sitting in the water. So that's one thing I forgot to mention a while ago. So I'm going to get those out of there and then we're going to measure that liquid and uh, we're going to uh, get that rice in there. I'll be right back. Right quick, I wanted to mention just, I know you probably know it, but just wanted to say, make sure you're using, if not a metal uh, measuring cup, at, at least a, a Pyrex or something suitable for hot liquids because if you don't, it's going to bust when you pour that hot liquid in there. Just, just saying. Okay, so I will mention, I turned the, the pot off after I dumped that liquid out to keep it from uh, trying to cook further with nothing in it. And uh, there, they, there are the ribs, and 
they're they're good. You you take my word, they are. Uh, I ended up with normally I don't have that much liquid, so I've only got to add like a half a cup of water, and that's what I'm going to do. And then those two cups of basmati rice, and that four cups of liquid when I get that half a cup added, will go in here. I will press the rice button, put the lid on, seal it. Obviously, uh, de uh, bone those ribs, kind of put it on top of it, and it's as good as a meal as you're going to get, and I promise you. And it's really, it's fast. Like I said, it's quick, it's easy, it's uh, delicious, and it's also pretty inexpensive. But anyhow, I'll be right back. Okay, so if you've used the rice feature, I did the eight minute cook if you press it more than once you can get 12 but i i do an eight minute cook i i did a uh a manual release immediately after it timed out and here is what you can expect which is usually on point now again i did use a little different uh instead of my uh uh beef broth i did use the bone broth but look at that i mean that's i don't know how you'd beat that it's very good so I mean, it looks very good i'm fixing to try it but i just wanted to show it to you as i opened the lid but it's it's uh fluffy like it's not stuck together you can see it cooks rice perfect if you do it like you're supposed to it's it's every time so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put a, a like a bed of rice in those bowls I'm gonna put uh, one of those on each bed, and I don't have to tell you how to eat it. I'm on. I'm keeping two. We're only eating two tonight. So, anyhow, I'll get that done and show you what it looks like in the, in the in the bowl. And uh, I think I think if you try it, you're really gonna like it. That rice has a whole different flavor. If you eat, I ain't gotta tell you. Try it. You'll see what I mean. It's great. So, anyhow, I'll be right back. Okay. Long story short, there it is. And you can serve it either way you want. You can probably come up with better ways than I got, but that right there works. The rice is absolutely uh, cooked perfect. It's not stuck. Again, you saw it in a bowl, but the the ribs, fantastic flavor, and uh, fairly inexpensive. I mean, they're not the cheapest cut of of uh, beef. I don't think so, but they're. They're fantastic, and uh, you cook them like I did, and you'll see what I mean. They a little bit of salt is all I put on them, and I'm fixing to do that right there and eat this one. The wife's going to eat this one, and I let her break hers up the way she wants to. <laughs> and you can put anything you want on there. I mean, the the sky's the limit. But anyhow, <clears throat> in the kitchen with Jelly007.com, and that is my version of of uh, beef short ribs. And uh, it's simple, like I said, it's quick, easy, delicious, simple, inexpensive, all the above. And then I'm going to take that and put in a container and put those two on it and have it uh, maybe a couple of days from now. So long story short, y'all come back to see me. Uh, like and subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, have a good night. Cook you some beef ribs. Bye-bye.